You don't have to read all the books. You don't have to go into all the theory. Break your data down into two different things. Quantitative values measure things. If you see these in your data or something like this where they're numeric and they're measuring something, those are quantitative values. So identify what those are and just kind of make a mental note of it when you're thinking about how do I visualize this data. So you will get a huge benefit when you're trying to put it into a chart and figure out what type of chart do I use, how should I show it, what should be on which axis. Just mentally make a note, is this, what are my quantitative values, what are my categorical values. And when you, when you think of your data that way, it'll help you put it into a chart in a much, much better way. There's a series of free attentive attributes that are really important. One is shape. So shape is an example of a pre-attentive attribute. You see it automatically. You didn't have to take in this really complex image and think about it because it's actually processed in our brain immediately before we actually become conscious. We have size, which is the size of the circles. This is a bubble chart. Position, position again, because just like this chart over here, we're actually putting those things on two axes. And then we have added color to it. This is how pre-attentive attributes work in charts. This is why charts work. It's because of those that's why you understand them. You don't have to process them. Uh, that's what makes them different from a table of data. I can take the same data and put it in a table, and you would have exactly the same meaning there. But because there is no powerful pre-attentive attributes, you don't see it. The time is very easy to get wrong in a chart. The best thing to do when you see time is just utilize it. 